What's up everybody? Welcome back to the second episode of QSND or Quick, Simple and Effective cube Cubing Tutorials by Jackups. In this episode I'm going to teach you how to not DNF in the fewest moves <laughs> in a competition. That is because I've noticed that there are many DNFs in every competition I go to FMC wise and today I want to show you some tips and tricks for beginners so you want DNF in a cubing competition. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to explain some of the most important rules in FMC attempts. The first rule that you're going to have to know is you have only one hour to complete and write a solution. So it's, it's very useful to check the time from time to time. <laughs> so next one is your solution must be at most 80 moves, including rotations. So this means that you can do around 70 to 75 moves at most if you want to get a successful. All right, so third most important tip is how to do the double double face turns because this is the reason why many and including myself have gotten DNFs uh, because in a lot of oils you need to do fat turns. According to the recent regulations in the WCA, you need to, to write N in front of the turn. The little N, yep, yeah, uh, that's, that's bad. And then you need to write the face and then wide. That right there is a fat R and yeah, that's like this. And it counts as one move, so that's good. And N, R. <laughs> yeah, it's so awkward to just write the fat, but it's that's what you got to do to not get the DNF. Okay, so let's keep going. Now, when you have understood the regulations and the rules for fewest moves, let's get right in to the solving. So first of all, it is very useful to get two cubes with you just because it is very useful to do algs fastly. If you have only muscle memoried the algorithms like the t-perm, it's often very hard to do the t-perm slowly while writing down the moves. So first thing you do when you when you get your sheet of paper, you get both of, both of your cubes and scramble from the paper. All right. So when you have one scrambled, then go on to the other. Okay. So when you have your cubes scrambled, the first thing you do, the first tip you need to do, is look at each individual center or color and try to find the most efficient way of the cross. So I already see that in the white side um, we already have one cross piece. The blue kind of sucks, the red, yeah, kind of bad as well. So as you can see, we're going to choose the white side. And wow, that sucks. Okay, so the next thing you need to do when you have found the, the cross uh, color that you're going to be solving on is you need to f uh, do the cross, like we can just count the moves. Th this is a kind of easy cross, so one, two, three, four, and five. And to insert th this one, six, seven, eight moves. So it's an eight move cross and that's, that's pretty reasonable. Okay, also just to be sure and just to make everything easier, we can do this rotation, this kind of rotation, to get the white side down here and we can we can do that by writing down the rotation and as all the rotations are on this paper like right here rotations so as you can see we we can just do a double front rotation which consists of these weird brackets little front and just close the brackets let's write the cross so let's do cross so we left right here and D. So that solves the cross. Okay, so tip number four, I think. <laughs> when we have figured out the cross, now we can just keep solving the cross by doing the moves we have written down. As you can see, the cross has been solved. And now, next tip that I have for you is solve the cube as many times as you need to find 
the one solution that you feel like is going to have the fewest moves and uh, yeah so let's, let's just start off with this one I guess we can just pair up these two insert this one what now we can take out this one insert this one so let's insert this one connect these two and put them in now a stupid stupid oil and the u firm so yeah that was a quick little solution let's let's go for another one okay so i'm going to go with this solution that we just found so since we have the cube like this we can just rotate it let's write um f2l part of the of the soul and we can do little u rotation like this so it's so it's easier just for us to do these two so let's connect these two by doing l prime u prime l l prime u prime l put put them in by doing a u2 and let's put them in f u prime f prime so now as you can see we have solved the first f2l pair like right here and let's keep doing this okay so while we're here we I, i'm just going to show you a little f2l trick as you can see these two need to get out of the place so we can just do a sledgehammer by doing as you can see they they connect themselves so let's do another rotation f r prime f prime and r as you can see that one connected these two so as you can see when we're going to insert these two these two are going to come out so let's just insert this one l prime u and l l u l prime so tip number six is when you have found a decent um, chain reaction in your f2l uh, try to play with your insertions as you can see this is one insertion you take you, you insert it like this then this is another one we insert that one like this then there is the third one by doing a sledgehammer and then there is also this one by doing some some crazy things like that you just got to play with the insertions and I guess we, we, we're going to sledgehammer this one in. So let's do R prime F R F prime. So as you can see, now we have insert this one and this pair is right in front of us. So let's just put it in like back there. So let's do R prime U R. Um, then U prime and R prime U prime R. R prime U prime R. Now we, have do we are done with the F2L. Also, one thing I like to do is just count the moves we got. So it's 32 moves for F2L. So the next part, if you don't know the full oil all, then you just have to do the, the two look. Yeah, the, knowing full oil all kind of helps. So let's let's just, yet again, you have to play with the F2L and oil all. Um, many different ways to do them. As you can see, by doing the one look oil all, we, ha <laughs> we got the Z perm and that is completely stupid and dumb so let's not do that tip number eight <laughs> ten i'm not sure um yeah doing the one look oil isn't going is going to get us a z perm so that's bad let's do two look oil so let's do f sexy move f prime now we get soon sexy move f prime now we have a soon case and this is the anti soon so let's let's do the anti soon r prime so now we have we're done with the oil all and we got a stupid weeper and so let's just count the moves so it's 40 right here 41 42 43 4 5 6 7 so it's 47 moves by the oil all not not too good but we still have like 30 moves to go and to not get a dnf as i said in the beginning it's very hard to do the pll and to write down the moves so it's very necessary that you have a second cube so let's do the y perm or the v perm so it's i i know it's like this the first four moves so let's do r prime what now i don't know so let's so this is very annoying this is very annoying Okay, so when we're done with the solution, um, let's re-scramble re the cube again. 
So let's get our solution and let's go through it. So as you can see, we, we always scramble the cube, white, uh, green in front, white in the upper layer. So the cross, okay, so the first rotation is F2. So let's do F2 and let's, let's do the cross U. I promise to be there in every single way. We're doing this together. And now we can just do that. And in the end, we need to do the AUF by doing U2. Okay, so I have written the solution down on the table. Let's let's re-scramble the cube for the millionth time in our FMC attempt, because that's what we have to do. And now we when we have our cube scrambled, put it under the table. So put it under the table right here so you don't see it and follow your solution like you were a judge and uh, then you're going to figure out if you have your solution um, correct. Okay, so uh, yeah, I already messed up. So let's... Uh, holy shit, I already messed up. Is the correct one. <laughs> So now you scramble the cube yet again, put it under the table and follow your solution and imagine you're a judge and you can't see the cube so follow everything that is in the solution. Yeah! So the cube is scrambled and it is very good, <laughs> it is very satisfying so yep. So to, to end up the tutorial, I'd like to say that we got 58 moves in total and it is not a DNF. So thank you all so much for watching the FMC QSND. I know this wasn't a QS, really quick <laughs> tutorial, but I hope it's going to help you not get a DNF in the next cubing competition. So I will see you all next time. Bye.